Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In today's video, we are going to unbox a few items from Hermes uh, that I have purchased in the past months. I'm going to also review the items, so if you're interested, please keep watching. I'm going to unbox the items in the order of makeup, then some more leather goods and the small bag. I will unbox them in no particular order because obviously for me to review them for you, I had to use them, at least some of the items. We start with makeup. This is the first item. It comes in this beautiful orange packaging. And on a side note, guys, I just want to let you know, if you watch my previous videos, you would know that I do use 90% of time organic products, so organic cosmetics as well. So this item I purchased because I do love these houses. I love the brands. Uh, I do want to know what they bring on the market. I do want to test the products. So I use them for a little while, then they end up with my lovely friends. But I do want to form my own opinion because, you know, everyone is different. I know that there are reviews, but, you know, everyone's skin is different. So the products uh, behave differently on every single person when they use it. That's my opinion. Anyhow, I would really love that the brands start making organic cosmetic. I mean, I would be the regular customer for sure. Now, the first item comes in this a beautiful box and uh, we are opening Roche Hermes Poppy Lip Shine. If you watched my previous video unboxing the Hermes lipstick when they first came out, you would know that I crave about the packaging. I mean the Hermes packaging I think it's the nicest on the market and love the dust bag and look at that. I mean, the colors that they came up with for the whole lip range is just beautiful. I would really love them to be able to be refilled with organic products so I can take them every day with me and use them because they are so beautiful. Uh, only when you look at them, and uh, they would be beautiful in handbags. And I love this magnetic closure. This uh, Hoppy Lip Shine enhances and amplifies the natural radiance of the lips according to the website. Now, what is true, what is not true? Yes, it is translucent. So when you apply to the lips, and I will show you here, it is translucent. It's got a little shiny pieces and they stay and stick on your lips. Well, even so it is orange, it does not have any orange color. I mean, look at this. Can you see? It's like shine, shine. I'm not sure if you even can see this, but it's a very moisturizing guys the smell of all of the lipsticks of Hermes I don't know how they achieve it but it's the nicest smell ever so love it it is very moist very beautiful texture I purchased it in order for me to use it over the lipstick just to get some shine because I do not purchase satin lipstick, usually only matte, because obviously satin do not last as long as matte. The matte lipstick, if I want to achieve a little bit of a shine, I like to apply something like this, shine or lip gloss. So would I purchase it again? Not guys. It is really like little bits and pieces of shine and that's about it. They say enhance and amplifies the natural radiance of the lips. Uh, I wouldn't say that, right? It's just have a little bit of pieces of the shine. Is it worth the price tag? I don't think so. The next uh, of the makeup products comes in the same sort of paper bag. And now the same sort of box. And we have here Roche Hermes Lip Care Balm. This product was suggested to me by my lovely SA and uh, he actually uses it. So this is for male and female, obviously lip balm. I mean the same packaging guys, uh, the dust bag. Lip balm is a basic white color with gold. I mean 
beautiful like a drink. Look, I mean, it's lip balm, right? But the smell, oh, you just want to eat it. It's got beautiful texture, beautiful smell. It really slides beautifully on the lips. And uh, I think it does what it says it should do. So if you want to buy any of the products, if you love the packaging, definitely go for the lip balm because it's worth it. Again, all the makeup or the lip products are refillable, so it's another bonus. On the website it says it's got moisturizing and smoothing properties, and I think it's true. So I would rate this product like number one from the makeup products. Love it, and thank you to my SA suggesting me this product. It's really lovely. Next, uh, two items that I purchased in. Uh, one of my visits, I can't remember which one, but I did. And okay, one of them again comes in this packaging, and this product is Rose Hermes Rose 10. Oh, this is the lip enhancer. Currently, they have three lip enhancers on the market, guys. Uh, the other two, I picked up number 49, which is rose tan color. The other two colors are so light, and I think all humans got a little bit like pinky um, lips. So I don't think the other two colors do anything to anyone, even if you are the lightest, lightest shade uh, of lips. They are so light. I'm not sure of purpose of the two. I'm really happy. I would suggest it. To purchase this which is the darkest from the all three enhancers and yes the other two I don't think they do too much obviously look at that I love the pinky one love love the packaging pink right even so you can see this color is dark on the screen but when you try it on you see that it's like sort of pinky and this shoot leaves you like a little bit transparent pink color and enhance your own lip color. I think this is the 49, it's the only color that I would suggest to purchase for anyone really, because the other two colors do nothing. And uh, yes, it does enhance a little bit the color, but obviously it doesn't last too long on your lips because it is quite moist and yeah you you have to reapply it all the time so it obviously it's not lipstick it's just enhancer i am not sure about this product okay i wouldn't suggest it because i think it's not worth the price tag if you want a little bit of color definitely go for a lipstick and then if you want to have a smoothing uh, calming effect and moisturizing effect definitely go for the balm because balm is like number one of their products in makeup for sure Another product from makeup, and as you can see, is the blush. I picked up number 32, Rose Pomade. And look, there were not too many left, but because I always use brown tones, uh, I um, sometimes use pink, and so I don't have too much pink blushes. So I thought I would give it a go. So this is the packaging, again, really beautiful. like. The packaging is gorgeous look at that and then you see the 32 love it guys you open it as so as you see the color look at that it's beautiful and look this number 32 i give you a small so Look, at, this is the one on the top. This is the enhancer. This is the blush. The blush, even so, this is like quite pinky. They had different shades, like lighter ones, but you can build it up. If you use just a little bit, it's not as strong. So I think if you're going for pink, I think this is a very nice color for most of the skin tones because you can really build up the color. You don't need to apply it so much to have it so pink but you can start a little bit and build it up depending on your skin tone and what pink you want to achieve. So, love this product. We get to small leather goods. We start with 
I'm not sure which one it is here, but it comes in this uh, little on bag. Oh, look, I found a receipt. Here we go. And uh, we start with this one. And if you watch my previous Hermes unboxing, you would know that I picked up another of those and I really loved it. So when this color came out, obviously I couldn't resist. So here it is. This is the Calvi card holder in this beautiful, beautiful pink color. Guys, I love their card holder. Their look is so understated and the pink is just gorgeous. This is Epson leather. Love the Epson. I wouldn't buy anything else anymore because the Epson holds up very well. Love it. I mean, how many wallets do you need in life? Like, I don't change my wallets very often. I'm quite lazy, so I don't have too many, I have to admit. But when I purchased this, I started using it. I haven't put it away. I love it. I carry mostly here on the cash because I don't use credit cards. I've got all my credit cards on my iPhone and uh, even my driving license, everything. So like, guess what do you put in a card holder? Like what cards do you carry with you? I would love to know actually. Leave them in the comments below because um, I'm confused sometimes. Why do we still have a card holders? Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, if you want to buy, buy Epson Lighter because it will last. Love it and the pink is just really, really gorgeous. Another piece of small leather boots and I came up with this idea on the last visit, I remember. So it comes in this little orange box and when we open it, I picked up, hmm, Look at the color. Bastia change purse in this beautiful lime color. Now, I do not carry any coins, so I've never even thought to purchase it. I didn't know what to put really in it, so never needed it. But lately, when I take my medication with me, I have these big boxes and they really annoy me in my little handbag. So I thought if I slide my medication inside, uh, you know, even so it will be a little bit bulky, but it will be not this plastic big box. So I am intending of actually using it for my medication. I know crazy, but I love it. And look at those colors. They're so gorgeous together. I mean like summer colors and again it is Epsom leather love it so it will really holds up well guys love 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 and I forgot about this item that I picked up as well this is the version of the second purchase I think they have done and you know what it is it's little twilly I'm not a person who would dress up bags with the charms I think I have one little charm because it was colorful and it was beautiful. I had to have it. Craftsmanship of all bags is beautiful and it is just nice as it is. Simple, beautiful. The only thing that I use for handbags with the handles, I like to use a twilly to protect the handbags because I do use moisturizer for my hands, especially in winter. Uh, but anyhow, I like it. I like the look. I would not put any charm on it, but it's everyone's personal taste guys everyone is different and sometimes i do like to change truly just to change the look of the handbags i'm not a person who would mix brands so if i have a chanel handbags i want a chanel twilly if i have a hermes bag i want a hermes twilly i don't like to mix and match uh, different brands and twillies but that's just me again personal taste so i picked up this sort of twilly. I love the orange color. I think it's such a funny and uh, I don't know, makes me smile, makes me happy, this color combo and love it. So I wanted to change the look of the handbags and I think it will be really, really beautiful with this sort of twilly. The name, if you want to know, is, um, wow. Guys, 
I put the name down, okay? <laughs> this is too hard for my friend. I'm not even trying, but I can show you the name here, but I will write it down for you if you are just interested. And now the small handbag, as you can see, it comes in this bag. This is the receipt and you can already guess what it is. I mean, which handbag. Now it's got a story, obviously. I arrived to the store. I Have I purchased on that day something? I think I did, a couple items I did purchase, but the essay asked me if I would like to see these uh, little small handbags in black. Hmm. I guess because I was wearing a small handbag in black and I did have a black leather jacket on, I think he assumed that I like black. You know what I think of black. <laughs> Anyhow, I saw the bag. At first I thought no, no, but then I changed my mind and I tell you all about it. So it comes with a care booklet and as you can see, this is the packaging. Dust bag for the bag, dust bag for the strap. And yes, it is a mini Evelyn in black. It is in Clement's leather. This is the front and this is the back of the bag. Uh, and this is the strap, now basic black strap. I'm not gonna do a review of the bag because there's so much review on the internet so you can go check it out. If you watch my previous video, I had Evelyn in TM size and um, unfortunately I had to let it go because I do have a back aches a lot. If I carry heavy stuff, crossbody. So PM size was for me too big and uh, too heavy, especially carrying it for a little longer. Uh, so I just never reached for it. It just was sitting in my closet and that's not the point. So I passed it on to my friend. When he offered uh, me Evelyn, I was like, oh no, not Evelyn again. However, Last year when Chanel introduced the small crossbody bags for iPhone and the bags hold it only iPhone, I really wanted one. If I find a picture, I will show it to you here. But the, the combo that I wanted, like caviar, white leather with black, never arrived to Australia. And for Europe, I was too late. Then uh, when I saw the black, when I tried it on, I was like, you know what? Actually, it is a very casual bag. I am very casual lately, so I thought for my motorbike trips it will be a perfect bag. I usually wear on a motorbike's dark outfit, so dark outfit black fits perfectly. You know, Evelyn is a very casual bag and uh, I thought for traveling, when you want to carry only your essentials, it will be just the bag. I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, if I can suggest for anyone who is considering Evelyn, guys, if you are a casual person uh, or if you are somebody who wants to enter luxury market, definitely look into Mini Evelyn because I think if you compare the houses and uh, usually Louis Vuitton is considered, you know, the entrance market for luxury with their canvas because it's uh, like a more affordable sort of range. Guys, this is not too expensive. I think it is worth the price tag and you have a Hermes bag. So check it out. If you like it, if you're a casual person, they have beautiful summer colors. I saw it so many colors. I saw one in like a really bright pink color. Uh, they had it in one of the stores in Europe. And at that time I said like, no, 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 Evelyn doesn't work for me. It didn't work in the past. I'm not gonna to get it. Now, when I have the black one, I was like, oh, why didn't I get the pink one? Uh, especially because it was pink. At that time, even the pink color hasn't pressured me to purchase it, right? So I was like, hmm. But look, casual, I think I will definitely get more use out of this black Evelyn Mini 
than colorful because usually when I wear so many colors it is when I'm dressed up and not when I'm very very casual so uh, I think I've done a good choice and went with the black and I'm really really happy so you will see pictures on Instagram when I'm wearing it and guys the strap as well I will show you here the pictures how it looks uh, I am 172 centimeters tall and I think it is the perfect length for me. I like where it sits uh, on my hips, uh, but everyone is different how you like it, right? I think it is a shame that they haven't done the strap adjustable. I think it would add extra ums to it, uh, especially for shorter people or even taller people, you know, they would be able to adjust it. I think, yeah, they should think about it. I am like average height, so for me, it's great, so I am not complaining, but I think Hermes definitely could reach out to more people if they would do adjustable straps, for sure, because some reviews that I watched, some of the ladies that were too short, they had to sell the bags because it didn't work out for them, so it's a shame, because it is nice bag. Inside is just simple black. Uh, I did purchase insert because it is a Clemens leather, so I wanted to hold its shape because Clemens leather obviously through the time it a little bit slouches. But look, it's got a like the proper corner, so I don't think it will be slouching too much. And I'm not gonna to overload the bag. It's really my iPhone and keys and uh, you know my medication that's it like I, I don't carry too much really with me so guys that was it from today's haul i hope you enjoyed it if yes please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would really love you to join my youtube family if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below and thank you so much for watching and i will really really hope to see you in my next video have a lovely day guys and take care of yourself ciao